So let us complete challenge 7. Here is the wrap up challenge PDF. Take me to the PDF. This is the PDF. Let's see. It has 12 steps and it will take around 90 minutes. In step 1, we have to SSH into the system and we should have JCL3 out dataset in our system. So let's go to dataset. Let's see whether we have JCL3 out. We already have JCL3 out. Then we have to SSH into our system. Let's clear it. Give her SSH. Then our user ID. And give our password. We are now inside the system. Now what we have to do is we have to run this command d echo so after you run this command right click on this data set and give pull from mainframe and you can see this line goes at the bottom is now added to this data set step 2 is also telling the same thing to open this data set so step 2 is complete. Then in step 3 it is asking us to copy DS list from public to our own directory. Here is DS list.py. If it does not exist for you then just give here Z. Public DS list dot py and it will copy to your own directory. Then we have to go to line number 9 of this data set and here give our user ID 15260. Control S to save. Now let us run this code. Let us run python 3 ds list dot py. And you can see it is showing us the content of my user id dot jcl dataset so i can go to this dataset and you can see it contains two members jcl2 and jcl3 the same is displayed here jcl2 and jcl3 so step 3 is complete let's go to step 4 in step 4 it is telling about the python apis you can go to the link here and then read more about the python api in step 5, we have to go to members.py dataset. Here is members.py. Click on it. This is members.py. In step 6, it is just telling us more about how coding is done. So you can read about it. Then go to step 7. It is asking us to go to line 3 of members.py. Here is line 3 of members.py. We are importing modules from ZOA utility. We can read about this utility by going to this link. So let's open this link. And here is the documentation of ZOpen automation utilities. You can read about the Python API as well. Then let's go to step 8. In step 8 also it is just explaining what the code is. So you can read it. Then let's go to step 9. Then we have to go to line number 17. This is line number 17. Here we have to find what will come in place of question mark. So what we are creating is we are creating a sequential data set. So here instead of question mark we can give sequential here also you can see what should be in place of question mark in order to create a sequential data set so this is step 9 let's go to step 10 in step 10 it is asking us to uncomment one of the lines there are some lines from 24 to 27 which are explaining something about the data sets and then from 28 to 31 there are some linked list data sets 
we have to uncomment one of them. So the correct answer will be the second one, where you can see list. The system dot list. This is the correct syntax. So we have to use this one. So uncomment this by removing the hash. Control and save. So what we have to do is just uncomment 29. And here instead of question mark, we have to give a CQ. In step 11, it is telling us to correct the syntax of the dataset dot write command. This is the datasets dot write. In this command, one thing is misplaced that is ds name should be before the link list. This is wrong. So let's give here ds name first and then link list. Remove ds name from here. Control S to save. It is telling us that the name of the output dataset should be username dot complete and it should be a sequential dataset. So let's give here SSH. Let's give password. Let's clear the screen and then run this code. Python 3 members dot py press enter. Enter the dataset name. It should be z. 15260 dot complete. Give it in capital letters. Press enter. It is telling us dataset not found. Should we create? Give yes. Press enter. And you can see the code executed successfully. So this is the full list of the datasets. Then let's go back to our PDF. It is asking us to submit check auto to complete this challenge. So let's go to datasets. Here is public.jcl. This is check auto. Right click and submit. Job submitted 7816. Let's go to job. Here you can see 7816 condition code 0. So let's go to our website. Go down and click on challenge complete check my JCL. You have successfully completed the fundamental automation challenge. Awesome. You have completed this challenge. Badge earned fundamentals. You have completed all challenges in the fundamentals. Keep it up. You have advanced to a new level. Congratulations. You have leveled up. You are now a fundamental achiever. Close all this. Refresh the page. You have completed every challenge. Take a look at your achievement. View achievements. And that's all. See all earned and available batches. Fundamentals Achiever is now complete. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.